the music. Yeah. Can you do this? Can you do that? So that's what I'm saying. They're taking Ooh. it to the next level. Now, if you look at the ship here, as I said, this is the sister ship that's already out at the moment. And you can see how modern, high tech, very, very cutting edge it is. And as I said, our staff went on there to have a look at it. They were so, so impressed. The food, the level of service and the actual ship is quality. Um, I cannot believe how low the price is for a brand new ship. Because let's be honest, you normally pay a premium for new ships. Yeah, so when the new ships come out, obviously everyone wants to go, especially yeah. the people that have cruised with them before, they want to try the new one. And they're normally much, much higher. But MSC don't go that way. They want you to get on there and try it. So you can actually go on there. And for 599 you can actually have a week on this ship. Wow. And uh, if you like a drink like Glenn and I do, or a drink or two or whatever, uh, you can add on a very affordable all-inclusive drinks package from £23 But that drinks package, per remember, is not just alcohol. That's all your soft drinks, your coffees. So that's everything. Can you think by the time you've had three or four drinks during the day, you're relaxed in the evening, it's done. And for, I think yeah. it's about £161 or something like that. That's all inclusive to add that on. I, I, well, you know what I'd do. Of course, of course I would. <laughs> I know what you'd do as well. Um, but uh, it's a really nice one there. So we're flying from London to Barcelona. To see, that the way. good thing about this one as well, Sean, is when you see a 599 leading price, you think maybe it's just going to go out of Southampton and pop around a couple of the ports. This is not. This is going to fly you out to the Med, going down into Barcelona, and from there, you're then going to transfer from there obviously onto the ship. Now, once you're in Barcelona, if you wanted to, we can add stays on pre or post cruise, depending on what you want to do. I think it starts in for about £220 per person. But if you've done Barcelona and you just want to do the ship, we go into Barcelona. Then from there, you go into Marseille. So you're down into the south of France. I was there last year. Beautiful around the port area. We just spent time around the port, actually. I think I've mentioned it before, and it was just the day after England had played Russia in the football. So it was a funny old atmosphere there at the time. <laughs> but generally, Marseille is a really beautiful area to walk around that port area. Little back street cafe. So nice to just chill out and relax there. Then we're going to Genoa. Now, Genoa is where a lot of the MSC cruise ships go from, so it's normally one of their home ports, but this is just going to be a port of call for the day. Now, here I advise that you go off. They've got a massive aquarium. If you can, maybe take a trip over to Portofino. You see there with the pastel-coloured buildings. Beautiful, famous for the Italian Riviera, the rich and famous. Again, just sit back, have a cappuccino, and admire all the, the beautiful people in that part of the world. From there, we then go to one of my favourite destinations in the Med, this is Naples. You have a big issue with, with Naples itself because of the things to do there. So you've got to decide whether you go to Pompeii, you go to Capri, you go and hike up Vesuvius, or you could just go around Naples itself. Naples, the, the traffic is always hectic in Naples. I think, personally, I think Naples is a little bit run down at the moment and I think it, I, would, I think if you're going to Naples I think you should take one of the tours and Capri or Pompeii are probably the main ones to do there. I love That's your honesty, Glenn. Listen, I'm only being honest, if you've yeah. not been to Naples before you'll go there and you think there's so much other stuff to do there, do something other than just spending time in Naples itself. Then we go on to Sicily. This is becoming really, really popular with the cruise lines as now. And into Messina. And again, the trip here probably is the trip out to Mount Etna, which is great. You can go up to the active volcano. If you're into volcanoes, you've got Vesuvius and Etna, so you've got that there as well. But again, around the actual area of um, Messina, wander around. You've got the castle on the rock. Beautiful views there. Just watch out. That's famous for the mafiosa. So make sure you don't annoy any of the locals. Then into Valletta. Now, uh, p and are actually basing one of their ships in Valletta this year, but it's becoming, again, another popular de destination. When we're in the old town of Valletta, where you dock there, you can just walk up uh, the steps or there's an elevator to take to this top area here and you can just wander around and you've got the old ruins there and it is so cheap to eat and drink yeah, around in Valletta. Is, yeah. Really, really cheap. So, again, spend a day in the harbour there, which is quite nice. Then a chill-out day and then back into Barcelona. And as I said... We can tag a two-day, three-day, four-day stay in Barcelona either side if you want to add to that. Um, do you know, there's some great places there, but um, with, with it being a brand new ship, you know, if you have been to some of those ports before, whatever, I mean, there's going to be loads to do on the ship. Well, it is, and, and I've just heard the guys in the box say, have we got any pictures of the ship? Not really, because it's not built yet. No. <laughs> so but... they've got images, and it, and it does look spectacular. Yeah. As I said, if you go and look at the images of the Meraviglia, you'll see how it's going to be very, very similar. But they will still take it to the next level um, above that. Now, I'm looking. Um, you can actually book this tonight. Um, it works at under... £86 per person per night yep. for a brand new ship. I think that's extraordinary value. And I think... And they've asked for the dates, for. we've just got the lead date there. Um, we've got two dates on there, 15th and the 22nd. I yeah, think, but there we? are lots of other dates. Just yeah. ask Glenn and his team and yeah. they can advise you. But I think if you want to try MSC, and a lot of people say, we've been with other ships and we want to try MSC, why not try the new ones yeah. and try one of those? I'd like to. I'd just, I, I would love just to try all those new features, you yeah. know, and all the new technology and 
you're not going to be bored. No, definitely not. Definitely <laughs> so anyway, not. let's show you what's included tonight. So we have the the the, um, the shows have been really busy. So it, you know, it does pay to get in early because once ships start to fill up, the prices you know begin to rise. So brand new ship, and we've got to mention. You've got the world famous Cirque du Soleil shows on yeah, board as well. Yeah, just think what you'd pay to go and see them in London or around the world. Yeah, and again, or actually Vegas or whatever. Yeah. 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 So those shows are actually on board the ship. That gives you an idea of the, of the scale of this and the quality. As Glenn mentioned, you can on extra nights, pre or post cruise in Barcelona. Um, if you, um, I was going to say, if you like a drink, you don't have to be like Glenn and I. Because um, <laughs> even if you like your soft drinks and your coffees, the drinks package is. It, it's really worth it. It is nice, really good it? value. And once you've paid that, if you look, that's five nine nine. Stick on one hundred and sixty one pounds. You're all inclusive. Yeah, for the whole that's week. really good for new ship, for any ship actually. We send flights based on London, but there are some other dates available as well. And um, price wise, well, we have got the inside starting at five nine nine. And actually, the inside staterooms, they're, they're very, lovely. Very, very nice. Really yeah. nice. But again, as I said, if you go onto our website, if you call the guys, they'll have all the different dates there for Bellissima. And again, the prices will just start to go up as you go, obviously, into the summer. But they'll still be very, very competitive with the other um, cruise companies. Uh, and if you really want to push the boat out, that suite looks very tempting, doesn't it? Very nice. Not about yeah. 99 on a new ship. That's really nice for a suite. Um, and the ID number for this one, by the way, is... I'll get my invisible glasses on. 168... Five one zero. So that's the idea. I can never read that. Um, <laughs> anyway, we, we're going to move on to our, this next cruise is from Morella, who many of you now know. This is Thompson. They've just yeah, renamed. I'm still trying to get in the habit of not calling them Thompson or Tui or Morella. Do you know a friend of mine though who said, "Oh, who's this new company, Morella?" Yeah, you know. exactly. So it, just just to inform you, obviously. Um, Thompson were the company that we all knew. They were the biggest tour operators. Thompson don't actually think it exists anymore. It's now TUI. That's the UK brand. But for the cruise lines, still not sure where we got the name from, but it's Morella, and it's Morella Cruises on there for you. So when we refer to Morella, uh, Morella it is Thompson Cruises. <laughs> I can't even say it. Got my teeth back it's in. all good so well, Brad. <laughs> um, now, um, let's have a little look. So... This is the Morella Expo. She's, she's their, one of their latest acquisitions. Yeah, so right? people have travelled with Thompsons over the years and they love them and they just say the quality is always the same. But what they've done over the last couple of years, they've brought in two, uh, two Discovery or Morella Discovery 1, then uh, Discovery 2. They're now bringing in the Explore. This is still not out yet. It's coming out in the next couple of weeks. So this is their new ship. I think it was a mine shift. I think that was one of the uh, the German ships. They've taken it on now. Obviously refurbished to suit the British market. So she's basket. currently being all refurbished. Current, I don't know if it's actually been done now or the next couple of weeks, but we've seen the images. It looks fantastic. And it's that well sold that they're already bringing out Explorer 2 as well. So that's how wow. well it's going to be. Now, the good thing with these new ones, Discovery, Discovery 2 and Explorer, they're all inclusive. All drinks, all tips, standard through all the ships. And, and I'm not being funny. When you're on a 19-night cruise, yeah. you know, if you, you'll know, you could spend a fortune yeah. on drinks over 19 nights and what people say with with Morella Thompson is that the the entertainment the staff are so good the food it's quite informal people feel very at home when they get on board and again I think what they've done they've updated these ships now and I think people say about Thompson oh we've, we've heard about Thompson Get on these new ships. They are getting such, such good feedback. And I, I sold two, two of these yesterday to guests, and they said, we've just come back off Discovery 2. We loved it so much. That's why we're going to try the new ship. Um, and it works out under £93 per person per night. That's for all-inclusive. Got a really low deposit on this one as well, just £125. But the ship is going to be absolutely amazing. And we always hear about great service, great atmosphere, great ambience. Entertainment. But, yeah, great. They, they, they win awards, don't they? They won awards again this year for the, best, for the size of the ships, the best entertainment at sea. And again, if you think about it now, you pay £125 today, then get your direct debit set up yeah. and pay it over the next year. And, and what I love about this, it's actually a, a transatlantic. So, you, you know, you, you get your flight out the way at the beginning. Yeah. And then you've got the most amazing ports. But the other thing the with this back. one as well, Sean, is sometimes when you do these transatlantics, they're obviously trying to reposition the ships. And you might get a couple of Caribbean ports and then all your days at sea, maybe Madeira, and then straight back into Southampton, and you're at sea so much. This hasn't. They've incorporated, incorporated so many other ports of call in here that it's such a good cruise. You've actually got 11 ports, haven't 11 you? 11 ports yeah. all together, so that's why it's so good. And the days at sea are going to be great, because you've got a lovely ship. and uh, British crew staff, British entertainment, so enough to suit everybody. So um, I think this one's great. I mean, it gets, the more you see it, the better this one gets, actually. Yeah. So we're going to fly, as you mentioned, uh, London Gatwick to Barbados. Barbados. And then Not from there... Start. No, and again, with these ones, you know, they transfer you straight to the ship. So there's no overnight stays. You go straight in. 
straight to the ship and then obviously uh, your luggage goes straight to your cabin and you can start enjoying your cruise. From there we're going into Castries in St Lucia, still one of the great ports of call if you've never been there before. Uh, I always recommend doing maybe what's called a surf and turf tour, go on the land bit in the morning over to Sofri, the volcanic area, and then from there maybe take a catamaran past the Pitsoms, a bit of swimming and snorkeling. And, and I still think St Lucia is one of the top three islands in the Caribbean, it's great. Then we go on to St Kitts. St Kitts is famous for a few things. You've got the golf course, I always go and play golf there. You've got the island of Nevis, which you can take the boat trip over, almost like a deserted Paradise Island. The main thing to do there probably is the St Kitts Railway, and that's the uh, one where it goes around the island, and again, it runs three or four times during the day. You book it as an excursion. Oh, that's, and that's a, lovely. That's a right? great opportunity. And they have drinks on board. All the locals come out and cheer you. I don't know what they're shouting. They're shouting in the local language. All the passengers are waving. They could be shouting anything, but it doesn't matter. I'm sure it's something nice, Glenn. Probably. It doesn't matter when you've got a rum punch on a train, does it? It's great. <laughs> a strong one, no doubt, as well. Uh, then we go on to the great island of Antigua. 365 beaches, they reckon, on here. Beach for every day of the year. And again, a big British influence on the island. So again, you do trips on catamarans. They've got some of the catamarans that do a, a circumnavigate around the island. You can go over to uh, Nelson's Dockyard. You've got the Leeward Islands there. I, I've holidayed a couple of times in Antigua, and I would say, you know, English Harbour and those sort of places, really, really interesting. And when you come back, spend the afternoon in the harbour, because it's a good atmosphere there with all the dancers and street performers. We then go on to St Martin. Now, St Martin and Tortola obviously had the problems last year with the hurricanes, but these islands recuperate so quickly, and these two are two big, big and islands. And actually, the cruise industry is really helpful. Oh, it helps them yeah. completely, yeah. Now, St Martin's divided into two between the French and the Dutch side, so you dock in the, um, uh, the Dutch side that can go over to the French. Great for your shopping, electrical gear. Make sure you go and get your jewellery there. That's probably your best place for shopping. And then from there into um, Tortola, the British Virgin Islands, and again, Great place there to go swimming, snorkeling, go and do treasure point snorkeling. They're famous for the pirates dropping their treasure, so you can do a bit of snorkeling there. And a trip over to Virgin Gorda is compulsory. It's beautiful. From there, after you've done your Caribbean, you've then got your five days at sea just to relax, take it easy on this beautiful ship. Now, let's have a look at some of the things you could be doing. Um, I mean, the weather should still be great on yeah. these days, And it? I think when people see these images... Oh, sorry, look at this. When they see these images, they won't believe this is Morella and how good quality Ooh. is. And remember, while you're sitting at that bar for five days, if you want to, you've got all your coffees, your waters, your drinks, your cocktails included. Glenn, sorry, I'm absolutely stunned by these images. Yeah. Now again, with this wow. one, we've got speciality restaurants on there. Oh, the that's, scoops. Scoops. that's the ice cream. But you've got speciality restaurants, the spa. You can treat yourself for five days. Really good opportunity to do that. Then, oh my word! Sorry, this is just yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? This is why I'm selling it so well. Then from there, we have two two islands in the Azores. Normally, you go to one. You're going to Horta in the Azores, and you've got the Great Marina area to go around there, and also the Geo Park, and that's in Horta in the Azores. And then from there. We then go on to Ponta Delgada. Again, another popular destination there. Nice there, even to go off and do some whale watching. Look at the caldera on there. They do a trip over there. You can get the viewpoints down on the caldera. So these are two really, really strong ports of call. And even that harbour area in Ponta Delgada has got loads of stuff to go on. From there, normally back to Southampton, not on this cruise. Two more days at sea. Then we go into France, into Brest. Again, I always say when you're in Brest, just feel your way around. It's a good place to go and see. Then from there we go into Guernsey, go into the Channel Islands, tender port in there, great to wander around the main harbour area of Guernsey. I love that, you know, that port of call there. It's, I do. I... And what's nice, you've been over in the Caribbean, you're heading back to the UK and you've got a chance to go to Guernsey. And do, I reckon a lot of people haven't been there before. Do you know, Guernsey is, you know, it's so near and yet so far for so many yeah, years. But exactly. it's a beautiful, beautiful place. I actually thought, oh, I could live here, but yeah. it's actually really expensive. To oh, it is. oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got the Lewis Hamilton and all the Formula Ones over there. You need yeah. but it's probably, a great probably about as much as what you earn, sure. <laughs> um, <laughs> then <laughs> then oh, we go into La Havre. La Havre mm. is the gateway to get into Paris. The other place I would say to go here is Honfleur. Honfleur is about half an hour away. So if you don't want to do the two and a half hour trip into Paris, Go to Honfleur. Um, La Havre's okay, but Honfleur is a better option for you. And then finally back into Zubrugge for Bruges, and then from there into Southampton. We go to Bruges quite a lot, so we'll, we'll skip past that one. Now, with this one as well, obviously you're going out of Gatwick and back into Southampton, so Thompson's, if you give them a call, you pay for it, but they can also provide bus services getting you back from Southampton to Gatwick. Great, so you. they can sort that out for yeah, you. Yeah, you pay for it, but it's not included, but you can pay extra for that. We both think this one is really, really good. I'm seriously good. I mean, when you look at the amount, and actually, you were on the way for nearly three weeks. Three weeks, yeah. Yeah, and you look at the price of it, and that's for all-inclusive. That's your tips as well, we Tips say. included, yeah. Yeah, uh, and you saw how stunning 
their latest ship is. £125 a day and then put it on that direct debit. Yeah. I am very tempted with that. <laughs> and actually, my holiday allowance for 2019 begins the 1st of April. Right? Really? Yeah. 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 Let's well, start using it straight away. It must be tough over them 16 weeks off, isn't it? <laughs> I just get the same as everyone else. I just stretch it out a bit. But anyway, let's show you what is included. Um, oh, we've got to mention... Um, it is an all-inclusive adult-only cruise as well. Okay, which is quite nice as well. So normally yeah. when they do these transatlantic, they, they are adult-only yeah. on their voice. It's quite nice. So, but much, much as we love, love, love our children, um, it, it, you know, it, so, sometimes it is nice to get away from them. So it is an all-inclusive adult-only cruise um, with tips included. Your outbound flight is from London Gatwick. Oh, oh we've got Birmingham, Birmingham as, well. as well. Yeah, forgot to mention that. Very low deposit today, just £125. And actually, there's also a 21-night sailing, which takes you back to Newcastle. So two days extra, a little bit extra on there, about 18.49 on there for you. And that's based on a Manchester flight on there right. for you. So, they do that so for us northerners, then you can, uh, say, cruise back uh, to Newcastle there as well. And again, well. they'll do the buses. You just phone up the, the bus company, they'll organise that, depending on where you're getting on and off. Of. Oh, that's cracking, don't you? The ID number there, oh, don't disappear. I know, I remembered it. 160... Three eight seven. That just helps you when you book. <laughs> now, can just add, I don't remember the ID numbers at all, but luckily my producer tells me. <laughs> Bless him. Thank you, Adam. What would I do without you? It does look after. He can't, it, we're, he we're old now. So yeah, I know. I can't remember anything. Yeah. I can't even remember that last deal. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad now, is it? But we are going to move on to um, Norwegian cruise lines. I'm actually looking at Norwegian cruise for my big birthday. Is it happening? Oh yes. Yeah. yeah. So, what's that? The don't even say it. It's big. Um, but um, I've cruised with them twice before. I had a great time. Well, I'll tell you what. If you, if you want to learn more about Norwegian Cruise Line, you want to see this bit of uh, this double act on here. Oh, these two are really good. This is when we're on our honeymoon. Yeah, these two are really good. Have a look. If your idea of a cruise is dim lighting, string quartets, tuxedos and ballroom dancing, then prepare to be challenged. Because this cruise line is so laid back, it's almost horizontal. Welcome to the most fun and relaxed cruise experience you're ever likely to encounter, where the entertainment never stops and the excitement just keeps on building. Welcome to freestyle cruising. Welcome to Norwegian Cruise Line. There's more restaurants than days of the week, and you can enjoy food from all over the world and dine and dress as you please. From trendy French bistros to steakhouses and sushi bars, Norwegian Cruise Line offers tons of choice. If you're a vegan, vegetarian, high carb, low carb, or gluten free, it's all covered. Remember, this is freestyle cruising, so wherever your mood and whatever the occasion, there'll be a bar that fits the bill with sports bars and whiskey bars, martini bars and champagne bars, alfresco bars and wine bars, bars with music and bars with sport, even ice bars. One thing's for sure, you definitely won't go thirsty. Imagine playing Nintendo Wii on a two story high screen or challenging a friend on the all new Aqua Racer. Visualise eating world-class cuisine while acrobats tumble down on silks around your table. Or simply enjoying a beer as comedians make you smile with dedicated comedy clubs. Picture yourself singing along as dueling pianos compete or settling into your own seat for one of the Tony award-winning shows. Whether you're a single cruiser, holidaying with all the family or planning a group cruise, you'll find something perfect for you. Norwegian Cruise Line offers one of the widest selections of accommodation in the industry. There are exclusive suites where you have your own private sun deck along with brilliant interjoining family staterooms that are cleverly located near all the kids' facilities. And balcony staterooms where you wake up to a different view every morning. But it's in the studio staterooms where Norwegian are head and shoulders above the competition. Told you they were good. Yeah, we divorced it <laughs> after that. It doesn't look good, I mean. <laughs> um, Keith sends his love, by the way. He still yeah, obviously works for Planet He's in the Cruise. office next week, so uh, yes. he always asks how everyone is. So um, now, a uh, really nice itinerary, this one, actually. A little bit different, isn't it? Yeah, it is. So this is on the Norwegian spirit. Again, Norwegian cruise lines are, are very, very popular, as they are. Now, they, they, they were premium all-inclusive for a while, but they, they had some feedback from the guests that not everyone drinks and stuff like that. So what they've done now is brought in two rates. They've brought in a, a guaranteed fare, which will still include your tips, because tips always had to be paid yeah. on Norwegian. But now... So they are included. So the tips are going to be included, but the prices shown on here at the moment are going to be just on cruiser... Um, 
just to cruise without drinks. And then if you want to upgrade to the drinks package on there, give the guys a call in the office tonight. Right. They'll let you know what the difference and is. And they're not, I've got to say, they're quite reasonable, actually. Yeah, it's 30, 32 pound a day, so it's yeah. not too bad on there. But basically, all the prices today are going to be good. tips included, but not drinks on this one. Um, so we fly you from London to Barcelona, don't we? London out to Barcelona. And again, with this one's the same sort of thing on here. So we can give people a two night stay pre and post cruise or, or extend it longer, however they want to do. But it's quite a nice one. You've got the Canaries, Spain and Morocco. Yeah. So a little bit different on this one. So you're going to go out from Barcelona and always nice. I think it's always nice to have a day at sea first day because you just bed yourself in. You learn about the ship. You get to meet the people on board and, and you know, you're not straight off in port. So chill out day on there to go and experience the ship. And then we go down to see play it again, Sam, down in Casablanca. And I love, I love the fact that you are making your way towards the heat as well. Yeah, and again, Morocco's a bit different. I think I think people sometimes feel a little bit intimidated going into Morocco and places like that. I would definitely go out there. I'd maybe take one of the tours, go into the souks, have a shop around. You've got the mosque area there. So maybe you haven't been to this part of the world and you want to experience it. Again, it is quite tourist geared, geared towards the Western tourism. So I would go and experience. But again, the mosques there are really impressive. The Hassan II Hassan Mosque is a beautiful place to go and see and it's a very, very popular tourist destination. Then we have another chill out day and then you're heading even more down into the heat, down into the nice weather and we're down into Canaries. Now the Canaries has got the best weather in the world, they reckon 320 days of sun a year and again we're starting first of all in Gran Canaria, yes. popular place that you may have been to before, you've oh, got loads. Uh, Puerto de, Puerto, um, Playa de Inglés and you've also got Puerto Rico, the two main destinations. In the middle there you've got Mas Palomas with the sand dunes and again you can take the trips out on the camels and do whatever you want to do there but uh, a big, big destination for I'm the just thinking, 320 days of sun, we have about 320 days of rain, of rain yeah. snow, so it's about, wind. It's, yeah, about the same. We probably have about 40 days or so, <laughs> yeah, don't we? Yeah, a bit yeah. left over. Uh, then it's Tenerife, then isn't Tenerife. it? Then Tenerife. Now, again, a, a popular destination in Tenerife down the south, down in uh, Playa des Americas and, and, and that area. But where the ships dock, they drop dock in the north of the island. Now, uh, my mother and father in law came out to join us on a ship a couple of years ago. Joined us in Tenerife. They were so impressed with it out there. They stay up there now every year and they love that uh, Santa La Cruz at the top of the island. But again, tour wise, you can just go off in the Lido and walk around. You've got the beaches, but maybe a trip into the centre of the island to Mount Tady, go and do some dolphin and whale watching there. Lots of stuff to do in Tenerife, and again, a big destination for the Brits. Then we head over to where I say Caribbean meets Europe, and that's in Madeira. Use this a lot on our transatlantics, and again, if you've not been there before, the birthplace of Ronaldo, the footballer, and they've got the. If you ever get a chance to go to the airport, go and see his statue. It looks like they've dropped it. It's horrendous. The statue. I have seen it. It is yeah. awful. But um, in Madeira as well, you've got lots of stuff to do. You've got the cable car. You can take the toboggan ride down. Tea at Reeds is another popular thing to do. But this is the. This is what it looks like in Madeira. Very very hilly, and we always go to a restaurant right on the hillside to look down on the ships. And it's a. It's a great island to go and, to. And lovely, you know, lovely uh, plants and trees. Beautiful, and, yeah, yeah, exactly. Really yeah, if you're into sort of the plants and foliage yeah. and stuff very very beautiful area to go and see then a day at sea just to relax and take it easy after three busy days in port and then from there into Malaga now Malaga popular destination again good weather down in the south of Spain I used to have a, a house on the east coast of Spain and it's very mixed weather there generally in this part of the world is beautiful things to see there wander around the, the Roman theatre you can go to the back streets I'd always take a trip out to Mijas. Mijas is about half an hour away, and that is beautiful. Up in the hillside there, traditional um, Spanish uh, town there, and great views. So Malaga, I think people, if they haven't experienced it before, there's the Bella Medina's along the coastline, lots of stuff to see there. Then into Alicante, where, as I said, I used to have a place on the east coast there. And in Alicante, you've got the beach areas there, you've got the Santa Barbara uh, Castle, the Basilica of Santa Margarita. And again, a lot of people might have flown there into the airport, but not experienced Alicante. So you get a chance to do that for the day. And then from there, back into Barcelona. Um, now, just uh, let's remind you what's included on this. It's a really nice place, is that, isn't it? Yeah. A bit different. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a bit different. different. Yeah, so a bit of a thing. Uh, so, uh, best fare guaranteed with service charges included as well. As you mentioned, you can, uh, if, you, uh, if you do like a, a drink or two, uh, then you can upgrade to premium all-inclusive. Uh, just call for details. And if you want to spend an extra bit of time in Barcelona, you can add on a two-night stay from just £129 per person. There is actually an alternative 11-night item. So again, just call for details. Call us for details. They'll be able to assist you on that. Um, this is the thing, you know, we, we show you so much on the show, but there's loads of other options always available. And price-wise, well, the... Um, 
the prices start. If you have that uh, January date at just eight nine nine, I have noticed on this one though the um, the ocean view is really good, isn't it? Like yeah, just a little bit more for an ocean and view. And I think people say, well, do I want to go in the Med in January? But where you're going, you're going so yeah. down south, the weather's still going to be good. Yeah. So I mean, you might you know want to upgrade to yeah, a balcony or even a suite on that one as well. Yeah. And the idea number for this one is one three four 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 five. Can I, can I just say as well, also launching at the start of May, this is why we like to bring you new stuff, is a Norwegian Bliss. This oh, is going to be their, yeah. their new ship. They're bringing out ships all the time as well. Um, it's going to be based over, I think, maybe in sort of Alaska area, in the Caribbean area, but I think it's having an inaugural from Hamburg and then it will sail over. Now, the difference for this one is they're always trying to look at little quirks on this one. They're actually putting go-karts on this one. No. Yeah, go-karts on the cruise ship. So that's, you know... You do think whatever next, don't you? I just hope they've got a barrier at the end of the ship. <laughs> <laughs> the brakes work. I'm sure they do. Um, but that's now, coming out. That's coming out beginning of May. That's the new ship. Now, Glenn, my um, my car looks like it's finally packed in. Yeah. Okay. So I'm having to put a bit on my credit card. I've not got a lot left on it. Okay. Right, okay. What have you got for me now? Well, I've got a little piano for you now. Yeah, but I need. To, I mean, can I afford the deposit? It's a pound each. Seriously. A pound each. Pound per person. Someone found out the other day. I thought it was a pound for two of us. No, no, no. no. <laughs> it's definitely a pound each. Pound per person. Yeah, they did. Yeah, yeah. I was going to lend them a quid. I said I'll cover the other half for you. Don't worry. <laughs> so you know, if your credit card's a bit stretched right now, uh, we've actually got this for just a pound deposit. And I mean, we had a few deals with the pound deposit last week, and yeah. they were the top sellers. Well, I had a gentleman. I had a gentleman book a beautiful Cunard cruise, um, or sorry, a P and O cruise, but it was a it was a, a long one. And I said, you know, the price was whatever it was, four or five thousand pounds. I said, it's a pound deposit. I said, I'll take the credit card. I said, if this bounces, we've got problems. <laughs> <laughs> we might have to talk about it. But it went through, so it's all good. Now, this one actually is the one that we booked. Yes, you and the family booked, booked this booked one. It. Yeah, I looked at it, but I've booked it slightly different. This is an 11 day package, but Oceana are going to base themselves out in the Middle East, which is great because a lot of the ships haven't been going back there. Thompson's and, and other ships were out there a lot, mm. and MSC, but they've pulled out. Now, Oceana's going in there and basing it next year. Now, they're doing. All different durations. We've booked the eight night, and I think we, I think the inside cabin was six nine nine wow. per person. That includes your flights, your transfers, and the seven so, night. So, if cruise. any of our viewers want to do a shorter trip, shorter trip, we've got that for you. We've as got well. it, and it's yeah. an eight night. Eight night, well, seven night cruise, and then you fly overnight. And six nine nine, you six think? Six nine nine. It was starting off on the eleventh of November. Wow. So, if you fancy that, but we're featuring the eleven night, which is slightly longer. Um, I, this is a part of the world I'd love to visit. It really is. And I must admit, I looked on the Planet Cruise website quite recently. I uh, didn't see this one. I saw, yeah. I saw MSC, but no, yeah. It, it's pretty new that they're releasing it. And uh, as I said, very, very nice. And I actually went on Oceana uh, last Friday and actually filmed on there because I wanted to check it out before we booked on it. And again, you know, you walk onto a ship and you go, yeah, I can see myself on it. I can see myself so much on it, I booked it. So I remember, Glenn, you know, imagine. Anyway, look, we better, we better crack on. So um, let's, uh, let's give you a little taste. I love the fact that you only have to pay a pound per person yeah. deposit. Yeah. Tonight. So the, re um, the reason uh, we book just... the reason we booked this Sean, is when I was on the ships, I always kept missing Dubai. I kept getting taken off ships and missing it. And I thought, I've only been to the airport. Yeah, and I just want to go and see it. And what's so good about this? You've got the overnights in Dubai, overnights in Abu Dhabi. You're also also going to Siri Ben As Island. Uh, which is one of the private islands there. I want to take uh, Brooke out to the water park on Yas Island, which and Ferrari World. I really want to try and also go up to the, the Burj Khalifa, the highest building in the world, and you actually do the uh, walk among the clouds on that one. So there's so much stuff, and we've not been there before, so we really want to go out there and, and see as much as we can. And, and, and everyone that I know, I mean, every one of our producers here, she's, she's been to, to this part of the world many times. She just says it is absolutely fantastic. Well, can I, can I just say, if, if you look at the look at the one we've booked, we've paid 6 nine, 9 per person, OK? Look what a flight would be into Dubai anyway, before you've done anything. And and then you're getting the cruise with that as well. And I also think, I mean, the dates we've got for this are um, between October and February. And actually, unless you want to do really long haul, yeah. apart from the Canaries, there's very little that guarantees you that, exactly. that great temperature. And, I, and when I booked this, I thought, well, I better have a look at the temperatures, because obviously you hear about Dubai. And I actually watched uh, Michael McIntyre on TV talking about Dubai last night. And I thought, I better check the, the, pro the actual temperature there in sort of this time of year is about sort of 30 degrees. So it's hot, but it's not like it is in there in our summer. So great time of year to go. Yeah. I mean, um, yeah, I think this one is fantastic, actually. You can, and so you could even um, go away over sort of Christmas time as well, couldn't you? Yeah, exactly. We've got all different dates on there. So, But this is going to start, if we look at the 11-day package, which is slightly longer, you're going to fly in from Dubai. It's normally an overnight flight. You arrive in the morning directly to the ship. And then from there, you go from Dubai. Um, you'll have the following day in Dubai. And then from there, you then go to Abu Dhabi. OK? So you're overnight on board? Yes, yeah, so you have an overnight yeah. on board, so you get a chance to talk to see Dubai anyway, but we'll come back to that because you've also got some overnights at the end there as well. 
Now then we go into Abu Dhabi, which always sort of rivals Dubai. And again, you've got similar things to, you've got this desert safari that I really want to do. You've also got Ferrari World, Ferrari World and Yaz Island. Now Yaz Island's got the biggest water park in the world. That's where we want to go to. And Ferrari World, loads of arcades and music. This is Ferrari World here. So lots of stuff to do there. And I think people don't realize what you've got there. Now, if you want to see a bit more culture, you've got the mosques and things like that to see. But I would say you've got your chance to do that more in Muscat and Kassab. So in these parts of the world, do the more modern things. Yeah. But it's purely however awesome you fun. want to work your cruise. So that's Abu Dhabi. Then we go on to Siri Benas Island. People are going, well, what's this? Siri Benas is a private island there that they developed for the cruise lines. You go there, you've got the marine and wildlife there. You've got that, the hammocks there. You can do swimming and snorkeling. So it's an island like they have over in the Caribbean, but they've got this in the Middle East. And this is somewhere a little bit different. And this is also in the United Arab Emirates. Then we go into Bahrain. We go into Manama. Now, this is a port of call that I bet a lot of people haven't been to before. Again, up and coming with the modern buildings there. But again, you've still got the sites like the Grand Mosque. You've got shopping. You can go to the National Museum. But of course, they are developing a little bit like Dubai as well. And that's going to become very, very futuristic. So a lot of these places to go, you've got the modern and the old there, depending on what you want to do. Oh. Then a chill out day, just to relax before you go into Muscat. Now this is more traditional, so not quite as modern. This is more your traditional, what you expect in this part of the world. You walk around, you've got the mosque area there, you can go shopping and haggling and bartering. And again, I think with this one, when we, when we, when we did this in Muscat and Kassar, we did the tours there because we wanted to make the most of the day. So these two places I would suggest maybe doing tours there if you can. Then down into Kassab. So Kassab is just along from there. And this is famous for the fjords. The sailing in here is beautiful. They call it the Oman Fjords on there, which are stunning. And you'll see a picture of that in a minute, hopefully. There you go, look, as you're sailing, almost like Ooh, the lovely. fjords but in the Middle East. So you've got plenty of things to do. You've got the fort, you've got, the, again, more shopping to do there. Again, plenty of forts and lots to go and see, so you can do what you want. I think this is a really interesting Yeah, place, really, really interesting. And yeah. then from there, the good thing is you're then going back into Dubai and you've got another overnight there. So if you didn't get to do the stuff for the first day, You've also got stuff to do at the end. Now, the Oceana itself, as I said, I was on it last Friday. I was really, really impressed. They've just had a refit. It felt comfortable going on. It's a British cruise line, so it's geared towards the Brits. Everything's in Sterling. The, um, the uh, theatre, we were in the theatre watching one of the new shows. Really, really impressed with that. And it's got a nice feel about it. God. Do you know, I'm really tempted with this. And again, remember, everything on I'm board is sterling, so everything's on sterling. British prices, so your beer's £3.50, a bottle of wine. Yeah. Always do it by the currency of the alcohol. Now, for a limited time, we've got a Planet Cruise exclusive. It's a pound deposit tonight. Now, that is per person, so the gentleman that wanted to book it for 50p, yep. uh, no, it's a pound per person. So if, there's a, if you are a couple, you'll need £2 on your credit card available tonight. And I've set up the direct debit on that as well, so that'll be taken over the next 16 months. So again, you can really yeah. spread the cost easily. It's easy. Um, great overnights on board in Dubai and Abu Dhabi. Return flights based on London. And regional flights are also available from just £99 per person supplement there as well. I do really like this one. I'm trying to, I am trying to see as much of the world as possible before I'm too old. Um, so <laughs> price-wise, uh, we have got amazing value there, starting on the inside at just £909. But I've got to say, the outside is really tempting. I need a little bit more for that as well. And the ID number for this one is 172. 703. Glenn booked the eight night option. Yeah, is that right? so I did the I did the seven night cruise and then you fly overnight, so it's eight nights. This I think the, the eleven nights got the Muscat and Kassab, the other one didn't have it in. But if you want to do your Abu Dhabi in Dubai and all that and your Syria being asked, Bahrain, that's what we book. So, so again, just ask the call center. All different what time dates are you open until tonight? Uh, ten thirty tonight and back in again at eight o'clock tomorrow. And are you actually working tomorrow? You're no, no, I've got a day off tomorrow. Joe's never in there, is it? Oh, well, I, yeah. You've not been in there a lot recently. No, I know, and I'm off to Canada at the end of the month. Oh, okay. We'll move on from there. Seriously? <laughs> Don't bother asking for Glenn, he's never there. <laughs> <laughs> no, you are, you normally there. I am normally there, yeah, but I'm off tomorrow, so. But the, we, guy, in, the guys will be there, so they'll be able to book it. And you've got to remember, we hardly saw him in January or February because you've been taking calls. <laughs> anyway, we've, um, now we, last time we featured Riviera, River yep. Cruises, it was a huge success, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, we featured this about three or four weeks ago and we were looking at cruises going out, um, I think sort of about October time this year. 
uh, for 19 and they sold really well. What was great about that as well was the solo occupancy charge on there because they didn't have any extra charge on there as well. And that's really, really good yeah. because, you know, people do sometimes get penalised if they're travelling by themselves. They don't have that with Riviera. Now, again, we've based it on Heathrow flights for these dates here, but when you go onto the system, depending on availability, they can look at other regional airports, Glasgow, Edinburgh, Birmingham, Manchester. Might be a little supplement, but the guys can advise on that for Great. you. But for solo occupancy uh, on selected dates, no extra supplement. Was yeah, which is really, really, really good. Really good. And every, um, every room is a suite on here as well. Yeah, and this it? is the new ship. Again, another new ship it's still not out yet this is the ms george elliott so of course with these river cruises like um, an ocean cruise a company will bring out one ship every two years when river cruises they bring out three or four in a year because obviously they're smaller but so, they are so this is magnificent five star luxury five star luxury wow so you have a little look now i think I think for people that haven't travelled on a river cruise, we, we started selling river cruises because about three years ago, and I think it's still quite a new market, a new market for a lot of people. But I think what you will find is that because they're smaller ships, it's a lot more intimate. Now, if you want the rock climbing, the surfing, and the West End style shows, river cruises are not for you. But if you've done them and you want to just have a moving scenery the whole time, sit back on the boat, relax, and just chat to friends. They bring on local entertainment. The food is always one of the big things on these ships. I tell you, when you look at the quality that Riviera travel offer at you right now, I mean, they, these look amazing. I remember going on like, a, a river cruise up and down the Thames years ago. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a little bit different. And, wh and what they tend to do as well, the, the dress code is always sort of smart casual, yeah. so you don't have to wear the sort of the dicky bow at night time. But they do focus on entertainment. They do focus on uh, level of service on there. And again, a lot of people, they've been out all day. They've been going out and about. And you can sort of go off all day. Uh, and come back so you sort of want to relax a little bit more night time oh, look at the, the rooms are beautiful the suites are stunning on there you've got everything from river views up to the french balconies and up to the main suites but they, because it's a new ship as well it's going to be beautiful um and you can see the quality you're, you're paying for quality wow and no insides across every room is yeah that gorgeous everyone's view. yeah so again you've got some deluxe suite with private balconies you can sit out but the thing is as well if you yeah, that, that that one we mentioned with Morella is fantastic but when you do a transatlantic you just see ocean when you're on a river cruise, you've got moving scenery the whole time. So every time you're up on top deck, you're in your room, that, that scenery is moving all the time. I think a brilliant price on this one as well. So we're going to fly you from um, London Heathrow. But as I uh, said, we can to... do other airports if you want us to. Yes, we certainly can. Over to Basel. Over to Basel. So again, we're, going, we're starting off in Switzerland again. Not the cheapest place in the world, Switzerland, let's be perfectly honest no, with you. No, it's not. But again, what's included on this, I think most excursions are included on this one as well. So you get excursions included on this one. Um, I think that's right on that one. And again, with this one as well, you also can upgrade on the meal, on the drinks package. So it's £109 to upgrade. You can have all your drinks with, with your meals. meals, which is really, really good for you as well. Now again, with this one, we're going to start off in Lucerne. And again, you've got the beautiful Lake Lucerne. Uh, you've got the bridge area there to walk around. You've got the iconic winding bridge, which is famous. But mainly this is scenery as you're going along the Rhine there. You can see how beautiful it is. And again, as you're traveling along, this scenery is going to continually change for you as well. We then move on the same day into Baal because you're just going along the river. And you've got the Baal Minster, you've got the zoo and the museum. And then we head off into Germany. We go into Breisach. I probably said that wrong, I do apologise. And again, here you're into the upper part of the Rhine and into the Black Forest area. So it's located, um, also you've got the Hilltop Fort area, which is stunning. And again, depending on what the tours are, you are, you'll do sightseeing, walking around. A lot of them you do something in the morning, then you go and explore in the afternoon, which is quite a, a nice way to do that. Then we go into Strasbourg, uh, again, a very, very popular destination here. And you've got things like the cathedral, you've also got the palace, you've got the stone bridge. But then you've gone from being into Switzerland, into Germany, then into France. And you've got the beautiful little uh, buildings there, the old style buildings to wander around it's and really get lost pretty, in. Isn't it? Yeah, it's lovely. All these river cruises we do take you right into the heart of the towns. And you get a chance to sort of see as much as you can. And like we say, they're a lot more personable because every group you go out are small little groups, not going out on busloads of 50 people, which is quite nice. Then we go into Speyer in Germany. And again, you've got the, uh, the historical museum, um, beautiful wine areas there if you like trying your German wines, which may, maybe you haven't tried before. You want to try the German wines, you've got the nice style Gothic style cathedral. Plenty of things to see while you're on this one. Then down into Rudersheim in Germany as we move along the Rhine. And you've got the castle, more wine tasting, a 
wonder which trips we'd be booked on. The castle, <laughs> the ruins, uh, but again, nice chance just to go along there and stunning views. And then into Koblenz, into Germany, into the middle of the Rhine area now. And again, you've got the great statue as you enter into this part of the, the Rhine. And you've also got the Larnet Castle, which is stunning right on the high set. Look at that, beautiful, absolutely stunning, like something out of a film. Uh, and then from there, back into Cologne for your flight home. That all looks rather magical, actually, didn't it? Uh, so let's just show you what... It, look at the ship as well. Um, oh, forgot to mention, by the way, um, we always like to give you as many extras as we can. You've got a Planet Cruise exclusive tonight, up to £25 per person M&S voucher, just for booking. Yep. Uh, drinks with meals. Now, Glenn mentioned this. If you want to upgrade to that, you can do that from just £109 per person. And that gives you your uh, drinks with your meals. That's only a few pounds a day, actually. Yeah, it's worth yeah. it. Yeah, it's with the meals and stuff like that, but it's, it is worth it. Under nine pounds for the seven yeah, nights. Yeah, really good. Uh, now, tell me about this. You can actually add on a three-night uh, Glacier Express. Now, this is the this is the uh, train that goes from a place called Chur, which is one of the oldest towns in Switzerland, um, and that takes you then all the way down to. Uh, let me just get my notes on there. Uh, I knew this earlier, Glenn, yes. I tested you. I know, from uh, Chert, then all the way down to Zermatt on here. Now, this is something a little bit different. It's a beautiful train that takes you down there, all the way through the Swiss coastline there. Now, it's not the cheapest, but you're in Switzerland, okay? And if you want that add-on there, it's £649 per person. And I think it's four days, three nights in total. But that's an optional extra. And again, the guys can explain. They've got yeah. all the details there to give you a bit more information about that. Um, the item it operates in reverse on, uh, on selected dates. Again, just we'll talk you through those. And return flights are based on London Heathrow. Price-wise, now this is going to really, really tempt you at home because the river view, we've already had sellouts, by the way. Um, but look at the single prices and you'll see there is no extra for solo occupancies. Exactly. And I think when, when we when we did the deal a couple of weeks ago with Riviera as well, the, the, the October dates sold out very, very quickly. What I have to stress, what I have to stress really much with the, the, the prices there on the, the solo occupancy, they only have a couple of cabins per sailing. Okay? Oh, really? It's not like every single cabin can be used. They will only allocate maybe two per sailing. So if you want to get those, they were those ones, and they went on the night a couple of weeks ago. Right, so really important to, uh, for solo passengers, You've got to ring tonight because there's only a few cabins available. Yeah, and the guys can go day. on the system and look at that. For and and Glenn was there, you know, they all sold out last time. So yeah. do it tonight, promise me, because you will miss out on those. It was a shame. By the way, we still have a few sailings available for 2018. Yeah, so they've also mentioned we've still got sailings for 2018. Again, they have a variety of different ships. I think we did, we got the Daniel and the Ryan, various ones on there for you. So again, if you if you want to do something for 18, you don't want to wait for 19, speak to the guys again, they can have a look what's available. Yeah. But, uh, that one, say, we know that's going to be really popular tonight. The ID number, by the way, always turns just about to read it out, doesn't it? No, it is. <laughs> Good job you've got that thing in your ear. Uh, it is. So <laughs> the, uh, the ID number there is... 173. That was right. 730, 730. wasn't it? Yeah. yeah, you saw it, didn't you, yeah. Um Now, we have one final cruise to tempt you with tonight. Now, uh, one of my very first cruises, I've been very lucky. I've been on, I think it's 26 cruises, and I've been really lucky. Um... Now, that is in 10 years, so it only works out 2.6 cruises a year. That's why I justify it, Glenn. Yeah. Okay. But some of them are mini ones and things. Oh, yeah, yeah. You yeah. justify it, mate. It's fine. No yeah. problem. Yeah, no problem. I've been really lucky. Jane McDonald's been on less cruises than you. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to do one with her, wouldn't you? I'd love to. Be right, laugh. Yeah. Um, but Royal Caribbean, the Independence of the Seas, one of the first cruises I did. Loved the ship. Yeah. Still love the ship. Um, she has a really loyal following. But... She's been revitalised. Yeah, as we have we to get speak. the right word. It's revitalised. So yes. I think I think it's, it's literally. Millions, aren't they? Yeah, I don't know if it's actually gone in yet or it's going in the next couple of days. But what they're doing is a revitalisation. So I think we've got the, the the video to show people what they're doing. But basically, what they're doing is they're. It's, it's always a good ship. It's been going out of Southampton for the last couple of years. We sell loads, loads of independence. But they're they're, they're um, putting all new um, a water park on there, restaurants. They're putting uh, an escape room. I think Laser Quest. An escape room. Yeah, escape room. Yeah, that's just for the kids. You put them in there and they've got to try and get out. But these <laughs> one of these escape rooms they do now. They've also got the largest trampoline at sea. <laughs> Seriously. Oh, they have. The but but all the things we love about the independence will still be there, won't Yeah, they? but they've also um, they've also spruced up all the rooms. All those will be yeah. redesigned as well. They, it's going to look absolutely fantastic. First cruise is coming out, I think, about the 12th, 13th of May next month. They're doing a couple of mini cruises, then they're going to the full itinerary. So, but so this is for next because year. Because Kat, our executive TV producer for the show, yep. she's going to be on it, isn't she? She's going to be on there in August, and I'm yeah. trying to get on there for about the 15th of May to do a bit of filming and a bit of whatever to show you what it's going to look like. Well, let's give you a, a, a little taster. 
So this is what they're doing. As I said, the, the ship's still going to be fantastic. Still have the, the great crew on there. And if you've never done a Royal Caribbean before, it's got so much to do on there. But they are putting the water park on there, which is great for the families. They're going to add some restaurants in there. You've got the Tabernacle. Chops Grill is always great. If you like your steaks, it's always been on there. But they are adding on the fish and chip shop, which hey. is going to be added on there for you as well. You've got the sweet shops on there. They're going to put plenty of new things on there for you. And as I said, they are spending millions on there. It's not going to be a new ship but they're calling it a revitalization, so it's gonna feel very, very fresh and new. Plus, you've got all the activities on there, you've got the rock climbing, you've got the surfing, you will never get bored on this and, ship. And what I love, I think, with Royal Caribbean, you know, you see families going on board, all generations, and there is something from everyone. Yeah, of course the, there from, is. You know, the very young children to the great, great grandparents. And you can do as little or as much as you like, can't you? Yeah, well, I mean, a few years ago, a, a cruise ship was a, a, a ship to get you to the next port of call. They've changed now. Over the last 20 years now, they are a destination yeah, under themselves. Yeah, they're floating resorts, and aren't you, they? Like, especially the kids. Half the kids don't want to get off the ship because they've got so much stuff going on with the kids' clubs and things like that. That's why they're so popular. I've actually met passengers that live on cruise ships. You know, some, some, so I, I've, I've met three ladies that live on cruise ships yep. and they've worked out it's cheaper to live on the cruise ship and have everything there yep. and all, you know even things like the medical facilities seriously yeah yeah, yeah people do you know. do. i would well, you're not yeah. let's let's be honest Sean, you're not far off living on one anyway amount of days that see you have a, month, a year Honestly, i could see me when i'm you know a bit older selling my house and just living on a cruise ship for as long as i can <laughs> anyway i used um, to talk about these on the tv you know <laughs> <laughs> in my day i presented a cruise show <laughs> anyway let's uh let's uh <laughs> talking to where you're going to be visiting so at uh, nice seas one out southampton um what is great there's so many great things about southampton but your crew starts straight away yeah it's dead easy dead easy it? and the other thing as well you can have on, on a, a night stay before you get on board the ship at the holiday in winchester yeah, 95 course. pounds per person that will give you a night stay bed and breakfast transfers from the hotel to the port themselves and it will cover your parking so you can leave your car there for 12 nights that's really really good value okay so, so try and do that do that uh, if you live, you know, say far, you know, fair way from Southampton. Two days at sea to explore that new revitalised ship. Yep. And we're making our way to Malaga. Then we get down into Malaga. We've talked about Malaga already, but again, plenty of things to see down in the south of Spain. Then we move on to a relaxing day at sea before we head down into one of the, the famous destinations there, which of course is Cannes. Famous for the film festival in May time. But again, when you're in there, you can actually walk along the Lido. You can go past the theatre where they do the, the film festival. And I would say this opens up the whole of the Côte d'Azur. So you can go down to Monaco, you can go down to Monte Carlo, Nice, Saint-Tropez, or just wander around Cannes. And just, I would say, just sit back with a coffee and just admire the views, because yeah. you are in one of the, the most beautiful places in Europe. And, there. and a bit of people watching. A bit say. of people yeah. watching, yeah. And have a look at the yachts and wonder. Um, then we go into Barcelona. Barcelona, a big port. We've talked about it as a couple of destinations to fly into this year, uh, these cruises. But with this one, if you've got a day there, go to the new camp, Sagrada Familia, which is Gaudi's unfinished cathedral. You can go into Park Guil, which is Gaudi's park, and look at all these sculptures and architecture. Um, again, up Las Ramblas, do a bit of shopping. Bit of can bar. even go on the beach. Can't even you? on the beach, yeah. You've got so much stuff to do there. Barcelona is a, a really, really nice city. It's got a really good vibe to it, I think, Barcelona. It's always buzzing. Yeah. Always buzzing on there for you. The other thing, then we move on to one of my, my favourites is Palma, Mallorca. I was married there last year. And, and again, when you when you, when you you go into Palma, as you come out and do a right, you'll go along the main Paseo Maritimo, past where we got uh, married. And then from there you go up to the... We didn't have that cathedral. We, we weren't on Sean's wages to get the, uh, the Gothic-style cathedral. But the Gothic cathedral cathedral there is beautiful. Take a trip maybe over to the east coast to Soyer, the Caves of Drac, up to Alcudia, or over to Magaluf and Santa Ponza. But where you are in Palma, just go and get lost around Lalonka. That's that's really, really nice. That lit area there is literally, that's where our place was, where we had our reception, oh. which was quite nice. Then a day at sea, and then we go into Lisbon. We talk about Lisbon a lot. The sailing there is fantastic, under the 25th of April bridge, with the Christ Redeemer statue. You've also got, along from there, when you're in the centre of Lisbon, you've got the glass elevator, the, the yellow trams, you've got the huge square area there. Uh, but that's the sailing, so whether you're sailing in and out of there, uh, you've got great sights in it Lisbon. Is, it's a fantastic place, and I only visited for the yeah, first time. Yeah, you said time. you only went there this year or last year? Yeah, last year on the cruise. Yeah, yeah. and it is really, it's really wonderful. nice. Yeah, wonderful. really nice. And then finally we go into Vigo, a popular destination on the way back to break up your, your trip on the way back. Nice here if you like your seafood and your shellfish to go across to some of the good restaurants there. Glass of wine, toast your cruise before a day at sea, before heading back then into Southampton. Um, now, uh, I think an amazing price on this one tonight as well. Let's just show you what is included uh, with this price of £879. Now, up to you get on board spend on this one, up to $500 on board spend. 
I would definitely go for the upgrade because you can actually upgrade to an ocean view from under £17 per person per night. And it's just nice to wake up and see all the new exciting places. It is, isn't yeah, it? it is. But as I said, you look you look at that price you've got there for a Royal Caribbean for twelve nights, eight hundred and seventy nine pound. That is a really really good really price. good. Uh, bear in mind, it's um, you know still going to get great weather as well. So yeah, September, yeah. fantastic weather. Deposit from only one hundred and fifty pounds per person tonight. And as Glenn mentioned, you can actually add on a one night stay at the Holiday Inn in Winchester. And that can cost you as little as £95 per person. You will get a great breakfast, you'll get parking for 12 nights and your port transfers as well. And that just takes the stress out of travelling on the day. The ID number, don't change, 173 215. Thank you, Glenn. <laughs> I think they're pressing the button and moving that round. Uh, anyway, um, let's recap. The six deals that we had tonight. We started off with Embassy, brand new ship. Now, bear in mind she's brand new. She's got the latest technology. She's actually going to have Alexa in the staterooms, isn't yep. she? Yeah. So I thought you... that was just the name of the cleaner. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think this one is going to go fast. And I, dare I say, we never know where pricing is going to go, but I could imagine that the price could easily rise. On it this probably one. will do, yeah. yeah. Yeah, this is a bit of a neutral. Um, you're going to see uh, Cirque du Soleil, you've got the shows on board. You can add on two nights in Barcelona from £220 per person. And if you do like a drink or two, you can add on an all inclusive drinks package for £23 per person per night. What was next, Glenn? Then we had this great Morella cruise going back from uh, the Caribbean back into Southampton or extending it to Newcastle if you wanted to on this one. 28th of April 2019. I um, Again, £125 deposit on this. All inclusive adult only cruise, tips are included, obviously your drinks, outbound, flight, outbound flights from London, Gatwick or Birmingham, low deposit, book today for £125 per person, and as I said, you can uh, increase that to a 21 night sailing available back from Newcastle, 811849 on there, based on a Manchester flight. Then we had Norwegian cruise lines, uh, great uh, trip to the Canaries, Spain and You've also got Morocco on there as well. Uh, service charges are included. You've got the best fare guaranteed with the service charges, but you can upgrade to premium all-inclusive as well. It's just 899 that one. Then we went on to the Oceana, which is the one over in um, Dubai and Abu Dhabi. And this one, we got the lead date, 11th of December 2019. Lead price, 909 uh, is the lead price on that, and 172703. You've got the one pound per person deposit on there. Return That's really flights from good, London, isn't it? Plus overseas transfers and regional flights if you want to go from Manchester and Birmingham. £99 per person. And don't forget, that's one Glenn's booked. Him yep. and the family, three quid it's cost him deposit. Lovely. Yeah, he's happy. Uh, but that is for limited time, we should limited say. Limited time, yeah. Then, this amazing uh, cruise with Riviera Travel. Brand new ship. She is five star luxury, don't forget. Uh, Planet Cruise exclusive, you get up to £25 per person. MS vouchers as well. And if you want your drinks with meals, just £109 per person on that one. And then finally, I know we're nearly out of time. We've got the Independence of the Seas. This is starting from 879, going out on the 26th of September 2019. Upgrade £17 per person per, uh, for the Ocean View. Deposit from £150. Glenn, thank you so much. Um, you're not with us next week, are you? Not with us next week, but I'll be with you the following week. So uh, I'll see you next week with Justin. He's back. Glenn, thank you so much. Pleasure, mate. Cheers. Great show, wasn't it? Good one, wasn't it? Keep those calls coming in. Uh, we're open until 10.30 tonight and first thing tomorrow morning. Cheers, guys. Hi all, thanks for watching that video. Don't forget to comment, like and subscribe below. Remember to click that bell to get all notifications. And if you're looking for more fantastic travel video content like this, then click on the videos to the right, it'll be really informative, or click on the Planet logo to the left to go to our website for more fantastic deals.